Our next guest is fresh off an Emmy nomination and is one of India's biggest stand-up comedians. But right now, he's on tour in the States with a stop here in Rocket City. Veer Daz joining me live right now. Veer, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. You're about to be over here in Huntsville. You've been to the South before here, here in the States. How you feeling? I'm just trying to go where good weather is because I'm in New York and it's freezing and uh, isn't it summer? Shouldn't it be summer in America right now? Shouldn't it's summer it be in normal? Alabama all the time. I'll tell you that. So I, enjoy your time. We'll move to here. Alabama because that's like Mumbai. We have one season and that's all we need. Okay. Well, you would fit right in down here if that's what you're used to. We want to point out again, you grew up in India. You moved to the States in college, got accepted into Harvard. So congratulations. Tell us about this transition of yours and of course how you ended up getting into comedy. Um, well, I was uh, I was in India, and then my parents took me to Africa, where I was kind of the outsider, wow. being the kid from India. Then I was sent to boarding school in India, where I was the kid from Africa. Then went to Galesburg, Illinois for college, which is, as we all know, the mecca of civilization. Uh, and, and then wound up being the Indian kid in Galesburg, did drama school, went back to Bollywood, where I was the guy from Galesburg, and now trying to work in Hollywood, where I'm the guy from Bollywood. So, you know, uh, I've always kind of been an outsider wherever I've been. Well, and, hey, uh, you are welcome here in Rocket City. I know so many people are going to welcome you with open arms. Of course, people have loved you so much already. You've got a number of projects under your belt. You've been on specials and Netflix. Uh, again, a few yes. TV Emmy nominations. Uh, tell us just about, you know, some of these projects, any that stand out for you, and really, you know, just kind of what your comedic style is like. I'm, I mean, I, I just want to take you on a journey, you know, like I remember watching great American comics so like a Dave Chappelle and I don't know anything about Ohio, but when I watch from across the world, you take me to Ohio. So maybe you can come down and I can take you to Mumbai and, and you can experience something that you haven't experienced before. And, and we can kind of take a journey together. That's what I try to do. So it's ironic to travel the world, but to try and take the entire world to India is what I try to do. So when you come to my show, uh, you're going to leave Indian. I promise you. I love that. I love that. Veer, I want to ask you too. I ask a lot of comedians this just because I'm so in awe of the work that you do and inspired by you guys. Because I mean, standing up on a stage uh, and trying to be funny is a lot. I mean, it's all I can do sometimes to like kind of tell a joke at a party and like hope people laugh, right? Being like on this level of performance for an audience, where do you kind of channel that confidence and how do you really relate to the people watching? I think you just have to tell the truth and then get more and more absurd with every word that you say. Uh, I think a joke begins with two places. You're either going to agree with the audience or go to war with the audience. Huh. So you have to say something that they fundamentally agree with or disagree with, and then you have to find common ground. Um, this is it. It's like being a, a politician with talent. I love that. <laughs> so many great aspects you have. We are welcome to America. We are so excited. I know, yeah, I guess, of course, you've been here for a while, but welcome uh, down here specifically to Rocket City. Recap for us, if you will. Again, your show's happening at Stand Up Live this weekend. Where can people follow along with you and get tickets? Um, you can get them on the on the website for Stand Up Live, or my website is virdas.in. That's V-I-R-D-A-S dot I-N. And, and I hope you'll come down. I promise you it'll be a good time. All right. We look forward to it. Veer, thank you again so much, uh, and have fun here in Alabama. We're excited to host you. Thanks, my friend.